Hi YouTube. Um, I guess I'm back. So kind of been gone for a little bit of time. Uh, so much has happened. Just about four years. It's not that bad. But as you can tell from the title um, of this video that this is a little bit about my nipple re-piercing experience. Um, I did take some notes, so I will be looking over here at them. So if you see me look off, that's why. Um, let me get started because I filmed it a couple of times. You know, you get a little rusty. You have to jump back in it, and I don't want it to be 15 minutes. doesn't need to be that long. Basically, I got my nipples, both of them pierced by the same person on June 26, 2019. She was super sweet super professional um she talked me through it she you know she did the best she could with what she did um except after speaking to the second person who did it who actually trained her who's been in the business a little longer because she's you know older than me um she just, she number one, few things that she stated that she probably wouldn't have done that probably would have made a difference. Uh, number one, she used black ink to mark because I am of a deeper skin tone. I think those black dots might have gotten lost. <laughs> um, two, she did not use the clamps to grip my nipple. She was just kind of like, I don't, I don't know what the word is I want to use, but she just kind of like rubbed them to get them hard, but they didn't get hard, like not to the point where she had to me before she made the dots is when she should have like maybe gotten them hard to kind of see where she needed to make the dots at. Second young lady, she used white tattoo uh, ink to mark them. And so much better. It was better for me because when I looked in the mirror, I definitely had a clearer vision of if they were even, if they were both level. Um, because the first time one of them was not, it was a little like that. Um, so, you know, different for folks, different strokes. But again, she was professional she thought that she was doing the best thing. She actually went into my areola on both of them, which made me wear a bra for five months. Why well, I thought they were healing, but no. Um, I did go see her two more times after that to change out the barbell and the beads because the first time the barbell was too short because my breasts, well, not even because my breasts swell but because it was too far back. So it was like the barbell kind of was sinking into my boob. Um, that sounds so painful, but it was. Every time I took my bra off, it felt like I had like five pound weights on the piercing that was pulling everything down. Horrible. So when the last time she changed the bar, she put in a definitely a much longer barbell, bigger balls. And she even said, I might need to pull these up and reposition them. I thought you're out of your mind. I'm not doing that again. If I take these out, we're done. So took them out maybe December of last year. And I was just like, you know. I'm never getting it done again. But it never left my mind of still wanting them. I like how it looks. I think it's sexy. Um, and it's just kind of something for me. Something that no one else knows unless I tell you. Um, but I just think it's sexy. And it's kind of just like my little secret. Um, so I definitely wanted it. And it just, when something stays on my mind... I need to take care of it because if I didn't really care about it, it would have left within a couple weeks. 
Um, would I do it a third time? Probably not. But this time has been so much better. Um, I got them pierced last Tuesday. I believe it was maybe like the 2nd of June. Um, so I got them pierced last Tuesday. Appointment was at 5. We were done at 5.22. I was back in my car. Um, which I was a little leery because of everything that's going on. I just didn't know what I was going to be like walking into. But nobody else was in the shop. And that was because of, you know, cleanly purposes. Um, she took my temperature as soon as I walked through the door. She had a bucket full of mask. I already, I brought one um, myself. She changed her gloves like four times. She changed her mask twice. Um, I just really felt comfortable and very sanitized and I felt good about it. Pain, definitely a 10. And it was definitely worse on the second piercing. Um, and I think that's just because the whole adrenaline thing, you know, when she expressed that to me, she was like, I like to go right in. She explained everything she was going to be doing before she did it. She was like, I definitely like to go in on the second one because you have a little bit of adrenaline left and I want to catch it. She's like, because if not, yeah, but I had very little left. Um, so I kind of screamed just a little, not a loud scream, just a little scream. Um, but after, after care and the after math was totally different. It was literally night and day. Um, the next morning I woke up and I was like, did I really get my breast pierced again? Because my nipples, excuse me, pierced because I can't feel it. And not in the I've lost sensation, I have sensation in them, um, but it just didn't, there was no pain. There was no soreness, there was no achiness or anything like that. So, totally different experience. Um, right now, it is Tuesday, so it's been exactly one week. Um, and I just, I've been able to go without a bra. You know, um, when I'm in the shower, it doesn't hurt like it did the first time. Just a totally different experience. It just was. Um, I think when people have more experience, then, you know, I'm pretty sure that the second lady who did it is probably tattooed, you know, every, excuse me, pierced every body from you know the darkest of dark to the lightest of light to you know all just type of people the other young lady again she's younger than me um I'm probably say she might be about 24 25 so she just hasn't had enough that it's not enough she just hasn't had the same experience and she just doesn't have it under her belt and everybody's different so Maybe she's never worked with someone with larger breast. Um, I am a 44 double D in most bras. So for me, I thought that that was the issue. Um, but speaking to the second lady, she was like, that is never the issue. That would never be an issue, an issue with anyone. So yeah, if you've had doubts or, you know, kind of questioning the whole process and you know you want to get it done um i would definitely say do it i did watch a few videos on youtube well a lot of videos on youtube um and most of the women were smaller busted i ended up finding a young lady who um had bigger breasts like myself and her video really helped me it was very calming because she showed you it, her getting it done, and then she showed you the aftermath. I'm not that bold. I would have never did that, but that's just me. Um, but her video did help me. So definitely, if you have any questions, any, you know, comments, 
leave them below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Um, you know, there's no stupid questions. So ask. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully I will be back with more videos. We'll see what type of reviews this one gets. And we'll go from there. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.